Cheryl, authorities in Washington tonight pressing the public for help as they are in a desperate hunt for the violent extremists who crashed the Capitol and created a day of infamy. Only now, more than 24 hours after the attack that shook Congress and the nation, are the security concerns and questions in focus. Whipped up by the words of the president, violent extremists bowled over a slim cordon of Capitol Police, some in the lawless mob wearing body armor, toting assault-style weapons. Police recovering at least five long guns, two ready-to-go pipe bombs, and 11 Molotov cocktails. Tonight, D.C. police circulating these wanted posters for several of the riot suspects. Even as 50 police officers were injured, one critically, tonight, part of the investigation is looking at police, whether some officers opened gates for the rioters while others posed with them for selfies. But the major police problem was there weren't enough of them to stop the blitz. And once it started, too much time passed before reinforcements and the National Guard arrived. ABC News tonight has learned that President Trump initially declined to authorize a guard contingent as he watched the riot on TV, finally okaying troopers only after White House officials intervened. The uh, security officials up there, the House and Senate Sergeant of Arms, the Chief of the Capitol Police uh, apparently underestimated the violent crowd, the size of that crowd, and overestimated their ability to uh, manage them. In an interview with the I-Team, former Capitol Police Chief Terry Gaynor said security was outnumbered from the start, even though authorities had planned for mass arrests. Gaynor was Illinois State Police Director under Governor Jim Edgar after starting his career as a Chicago cop, but became best known for walking presidents up the aisle for State of the Union speeches. Tonight, he says one fact made the Capitol siege different than anything he'd ever seen. What was unprecedented was the uh, President of the United States at the other end of the Constitution incited those people and really lit the match. Terry Gaynor says President Trump should be accountable for yesterday's mob invasion. Tonight, it's Gaynor's successor who's paying a career price. The current chief of the 2,000-member Capitol Police Department submitted his resignation. And with official investigations just starting, Chief Stephen Sund is likely to be joined by others fired or forced out, Cheryl. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.